is how to get up from rock bottom. But first, it's time for something awesome. It's time to ride over the world's biggest snowbank. If you want to get off from rock bottom, it's time to start taking charge of your own life. You gotta start working out. Focus on your career. Career, 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 career. Go back to school and thank Megan Fox. And don't forget to vote. Without further delays, let's get this video rolling. Is rock bottom, and to do that, I will refer to the comment definition. Well, first and foremost, I would say that rock bottom is not a place, it's a state of mind, and I would guess that it's going to be a depressed state of mind, um, as the things listed in the comment primarily cause depression. Like I say, a good life is two things it's emotional quality multiplied by quantity, right? And Obviously, certain um, scenarios in life are very likely to produce very poor emotional quality. So first and foremost, the most important thing to get a rock-solid answer to is the question of suicide. If you don't even know if you want to live, well then it's going to be pretty hard to commit yourself to anything in life. Now, I don't want to just repeat my whole uh, video, uh, Should You Kill Yourself. I highly recommend watching my video, Should You Kill Yourself, but I'm going to summarize the gist of the argument. It's rather ironic, but depressed people are negative about every single thing except death. They seem to always be very positive about death, and convincing a depressed person to have a negative outlook on death is a fairly easy task. The fact of the matter is something very, very shitty could happen to you when you die, and my argument for living is most likely you can turn life into something that's at least okay. In fact, I think that I can actually convince you that not only should you be totally uncertain about what happens to you when you die, but I think I can convince you that you should believe in random reincarnation. And uh, check out my video, An Afterlife is More Probable. And I don't, I don't want to summarize that video too, because this whole video is just going to be summarizing other videos. Now I think once you've convinced yourself that living is most likely logical, I think uh, that's half the battle right there. Now you actually have a motivation to try to find some kind of plan for good emotional well-being in life. Now I think the most important thing about getting up from rock bottom is solving the problem of depression. It's virtually impossible to make a decision, and you're going to be in a state of perpetual confusion and uncertainty if you're depressed, as well as you're not going to have any motivation to do anything. This state of mind is a vicious cycle. The more depressed you become, the less you do, and the less you do, the more depressed you become. So, how do we break this cycle? It's easy, let me demonstrate. Hiya! You just gotta get your shit together and start taking accountability for your own damn life. Career, 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 career. I've been recovering from rock bottom myself, and I would say it's very difficult to do on your own. Um, and there is a really easy way out, and that's of course to find mature, intelligent, understanding people who want to talk to you and help you with your problems. Finding someone like that can actually be more difficult than learning how to pull yourself out from rock bottom on your own. Fortunately, that's why I'm here to help. So first, let's talk about pulling yourself out of rock bottom on your own. 
I'm 28 and I have a lot of really bad problems that most people wouldn't have. My back is really screwed and my knees weren't working for the last two years and I couldn't walk or sit and that really sucked. And uh, I've had no job and I've been living off savings from my uh, last job. So now my first major tip I would say for getting out of depression is learning how to manage your health. Yes, um, exercising, eating healthy and all these things will help a little bit. They will help 10 to 15 percent. Don't expect them to make it magically better. Again, it's all about doing a whole bunch of things that improve your depression 10 to 15 percent. When it comes to managing your health, learning what not to do is almost more important than learning what to do. There's so many people telling you to, you know, do this exercise, eat these foods. Um, taking care of your health becomes such a complicated task that you just lose motivation and you become depressed because you're putting in six hours of effort a day just to be healthy and it's not even producing any noticeable results. So my advice is to use sciencebasedmedicine.org. It's a really good website. I use it and without it I wouldn't be able to walk today. Science-based medicine is really awesome because now I put in one-tenth the effort to manage my health that I used to and I get twice the result. Now the next thing that's really important to remember is that other people are very unreliable. Shitty people will actually do way more harm and pull you down way further than simply being alone. So if you can't find good people, it's better to be alone. You definitely can fix your depression completely alone. My next major tip is on jobs. Career, 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 career. The next thing I would say is you should either get a job where you work for a good person, and there are good employers, but it's rare, or better yet, start up your own business. I've recently started up my own business, and if my business is successful, I'm definitely gonna make videos telling you everything you need to know on how to do that. Next, I would say you should make a large effort to be honorable. Being honorable is very important, and this will boost your pride dramatically, and pride is the number one thing that crushes depression. I think it's very important to take your own honor seriously and to remember that society is a bunch of stupid fucking clowns. Society is constantly trying to force its honor code onto you and if you follow society's honor code, you'll probably always be depressed and miserable because it's a dishonorable honor code. Society literally tells you to take honor in being a douchebag. You know, it's like, you're a successful person because you're fucking rich. You're an honorable person because you trampled over a million other people to reach the top of a corporate ladder. Good job! Take honor in committing yourself to intelligence, to empathy, to wisdom, and to kindness. These are things that are actually honorable. And my last tip for getting out of depression is kind of lame, but do things that make you feel good. Anything that makes you feel good, value it. A lot of people don't value fun enough. A lot of people don't value beauty enough. A lot of people don't value pleasure. Have an extreme value for pleasure and make a commitment to do things you enjoy. Once you can pull yourself out of the depressed state of mind, all your energy is going to come back, your motivation will come back, your ability to make decisions is going to come back again, and you're just going to feel great. And everything else is going to be a lot easier after you do that. Now there's a lot more to fixing depression than those key points. Those are the major things that have helped me. Um, the science of antidepressants is actually pretty good. They can give you another 10% bonus kind of thing, but they're not going to magically fix you either. That's the hard way to fix depression. The easy way and good way is to find someone who is kind, understanding and intelligent and who's going to help you with your problems. If you don't have anybody who can help support you and listen to you, I am willing to do this. You can add me on uh, Facebook, that's probably the easiest way to talk to me. Um, my Facebook uh, name is here. I'm not perfect, but most people say I'm pretty understanding. You know, if you want to murder somebody or if you're planning on killing yourself or whatever your problems are, you can definitely tell me absolutely anything. And I think that just about sums it up. If you like this video, share it, like it, subscribe. And if you have a video request of your own, leave it in the comments below. I do every video request ever. This was a video request.